843 TV, where the Low Country comes to speak. Eight four three TV, where communities come to speak. Welcome to Eight Four Three TV at the Coastal Discovery Museum. We are always excited to come here because there's so much going on, and we're going to be talking with Elizabeth Greenberg today about a brand new exhibition coming up. Good to have us back. Thank you. Thank you for coming. We're glad to welcome you in. Yes. Well, of course, we get to come different times of the year and hear what's happening. And we've got a very special exhibition called Intricate Oceans that's coming up soon. Yes. So it opens this Saturday. It's called Intricate Oceans Coral in Contemporary Art. So this is bringing together seven uh, international national artists. Um, who all focus in some way on coral in their art practice. And it's a mix of materials. So we have two ceramicists, we have mixed media artists, we have painter, we have a sculptor. Um, so it's very interesting work. All of it's very, very different from each other. And so it's exciting to bring the work together. It's, a, it's an intense show to put together. The, a lot of the work is big. Um, shipping was hard and uh, we're still installing. So Everybody gets to see a little bit of a behind the scenes in here of installation, which I think is, is fun because most people don't get to see that. Yeah, and we're going to take a look at some of those exhibits and they are very intricate, but why, can you tell us the thought process or the idea, where was the inspiration from? So obviously the ocean, you know, we right, live on here. the ocean mm -hmm. and so that's, that's a theme at this museum certainly that comes up again and again in different ways. Um, with this show in particular, there's one artist who I had been looking at for a while. I talked on and off to her for a couple of years, thinking about how she would fit in an exhibition, whether it would be a solo show or a group show. And then it finally came together. It would be a group show. I had sort of um, found other artists that I was visualizing the whole show. And so mm -hmm. that came together. And it, uh, I, I love all of the work. We were lucky. Everybody said yes. Um, and so that's where it started. Now, coral people, we don't have shallow coral off the coast here, obviously, but um, we do have deep seawater coral off the coast of South Carolina that was found in 2018. So they didn't even know it existed. So there's a, a reef that's 160 miles off the coast that goes all the way along the South Carolina wow, that's coastline. Yeah. And it's really important. I mean, the corals, whether they're shallow water or deep water, they're all connected to each other. And coral is less than 1% of the ocean, but it, it hosts 25% of the food we eat, the you know, of all the things that um, swim and live in the ocean. And so it has an outsize effect. And it doesn't matter if we don't have a shallow reef here, the sea turtles live in the coral reefs, they go through the coral reefs, the fish we eat. So it, it affects everybody really. And um, with global warming and other environmental pressures, coral is really being hit. The reefs are dying at a, a pretty fast rate. And so scientists, you know, say if we don't do something about this, like now, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's going to be in the next couple decades, there just won't be any left. So these artists really feel that the power of art has the ability to change, you know, how people see things that a lot of people can't understand the science, but they can see the art and then start to understand a little bit of the science. And so... That's what I want to do in this exhibition. Interesting, as you said, it's in the ocean. So eyesight, most people never will see under the ocean, but yet so much exists, a whole ecosystem of beautiful colors and all of those things. So by the art, hoping to maybe bring a little bit more awareness to yes, it. Yes, yeah. And so obviously there are people who are dedicated divers, you know, yeah. who love to, to go um, diving. Uh, but most people, that's right, most people will never really see it in person. Right. So our, we see it in, I mean, I always come back to movies like Finding Nemo, <laughs> right? Yes, Where like you yes. can never get that yeah. first scene out of your mm -hmm. head of... of the you beautiful know, colors yes, and Nemo yes, in and sure. out of the, mm -hmm. that's a coral reef, right? Um, and so I think that it, this does bring it out of the ocean for people to see in different ways. And like I said, the artist's work is all so different from each other. So, I mean, this is artist representations of coral and, um, 
And I think that that's sort of a fascinating thing. And, and many of these artists either have a background in marine biology where when they were in college, they were thinking about, sure. am I going to be an artist or am I going to be a marine biologist kind of thing? But they, <laughs> as one does, you know, yeah, but right. they went the art route. Um, so, or they work with scientists or they're divers. So they all have a real connection to the ocean and to, um, ecology and, and those issues. Well, we have a lot more to talk about and we're gonna take a quick break. You all stay right here for, we'll be back with more 843 TV.